Now this time of the year, late summer, beginning autumn, Mtanzini is a very popular fishing destination, luring in hundreds of anglers from all over South Africa. And where better to stay than the Mtanzini Forest Lodge? Over the next couple of fishing vlogs, we'll be covering different spots and areas at Mtanzini. Mtanzini Forest Lodge offers the perfect accommodation, the tranquility of the forest and the perfect setting of log cabins neatly situated in the forest. Most of the units are six sleeper units featuring an upstairs and two bedrooms in the bottom, a bathroom and a fully equipped kitchen. A fishing excursion in luxury. Mtanzini and the surrounding areas offer a very particular formation of sand and reefs creating enough protections for our endemic diamond skate species to come and breed every year. Over the last couple of weeks the diamonds has been present and I couldn't wait to get to the water. One of the great features of Mtanzini Forest Lodge it's got its own private access to the beach and over the years we've caught many a species right in front of the lodge. Zambezis, Java sharks, diamonds, sand sharks, honeycomb rays and several edible species. I didn't have much time before it gets dark so I wanted to get a bait in the water. Alright guys, a quick session. We just arrived at Mtanzini, staying at the lovely forest lodge. We quickly took a walk down. Not enough time to go to some of the spots but we came just in front and I brought uh, two flick sticks, for, uh, spinning sticks with and a uh, slide. The tide is completely wrong. It was high half past two and it's now just after four o'clock, half past four. So it's going out and uh, this lovely, I just want to show you guys, just quickly grabbed a backpack, chuck some bait in the ad can cooler bags and we're all sorted. I'm first going to slide one of these big ad can marine mackerel and just see if uh, the first afternoon of our trip starts off with a bit of a bang. Who knows? So we'll get that out. Like I said, the tide's wrong so you can't get out. That's why I brought the sliding stuff to try and get over the lip and get a bite in the back there. So let's give it a good go. That's it. Let's get eaten. It's gonna do the trick, I believe that. The water is looking so nice. I would have loved to be uh, two hours before high or starting from uh, two hours before low so you can get onto the bank, get further and fresh that push tide. But this is what we've got. We're gonna make the best of it and I'm certain we'll get a strike. It really wasn't long before something showed interest in my bait. Eating very funny. Normally on the first fish, you take your time and see what it wants to do. All the signs were there that it was a diamond, but it felt like quite a nice one. I didn't rush it too much, but in the back of your head you always remember the Zambezis that swims around here. So you tend to pull a bit harder to get it to the side quicker. With the tide being slightly higher and a dropping tide, it can be quite the challenge to get a fish over the back lip as well as the front lip. And being by yourself doesn't help at all. 
When it's clear that your line will not touch the sand or the lip, you can drop your rod, which gives you extra leverage in pulling the fish just onto the lip with the next wave. As you can see, the waves aren't big, which makes it a bit more difficult. You have to be very responsive and reacting to the fish going forward or back by running forward or running back when the wave brings him in. And then a quick spur down to grab the leader before the next wave comes. Alright guys, that's why most guys come here to ZD Banks and the Zululand Coast. I own endemic diamond skates or diamond rays and they, they get up to 100 kilos. This is a fair size, we'll measure it and check. But with the water being so cold, they can be quite a fight. As we know them, they don't always give you a fight like a honeycomb or an eagle or a, a duck bull. But when the water is this cold, then they're really a worthy opponent. Very nice fight. I was getting hooked off and back in the water. They get a hold of your hand, they can. You must just keep your hand like that. I turned my hand around and that's why it got. Let's release it, get it back in the water and go a bit longer. I just want to measure it. When the diamonds are really on at Ntanzini or the surrounding areas, it's a great place to bring new anglers and young anglers to experience catching such a great fish. We are privileged in South Africa to have these endemic species that come in such an abundance. Well guys, that's the most fed catfish hooks. I like to use it on my heavy duty slide traces. Hooks are spot on. I'm 200 pound steel with a heavy duty kingfisher. Andre too. Very nice setup. You can slide big baits and you never miss a fish with these hooks. Also, it would be very interesting to see a, a sandy bend this open. Oh. So that was quite a nice fight. I expected that I only brought one of those mackerel with. And I brought the lighter stick to look for some shad, maybe for tomorrow. So we'll have a look. Maybe carry on into the dark close it off with some chairs. Follow us over the next couple of days on our excursion, fishing the different areas of the I never get used to the scenery here at Mtanzini, little path to Mtanzini Forest Lodge. We came out, we, we got what we wanted to do, just a little warm up before we start fishing tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going more down to the banks and joining some ambassadors. But a lovely session, brought one bait down. That was about 20 minutes. A nice size diamond picked it up, I'll measure it. I think it's close on two meters. But we'll measure it uh, now when I get back. And uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that sight. And better yet, we're gonna start a lovely little brine now. And uh, brine some meat and get my tackle sorted for tomorrow.